everyone and welcome to Jack Scraps. Today we are doing a Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. First of all, I found these cute little decorative vines. They came in a four count and then a six count. And they had this nice natural color. They only had that in the four count and then they had this um, brown color which came in the four and the six pack so I picked those up for decoration I did find another task pad for the um, stationary items that I previously hauled this is um, not the password one, but it's the let's do this. It has errands, chores, appointments, and miscellaneous on it. So I picked that up to be included into that. They finally have what we probably all have been waiting for. Yes, these lovely little trinkets. I don't know what else to call them. They have the ampersand and the and sign wait is that the ampersand and this is what the at sign I don't know but here they are in silver and what I found interesting is when I bought them I noticed that they had you know um, just like handling um, fingerprints or whatever so I tried to rub them off and it actually started rubbing off the silver that was on it so I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell right here but it kind of made this cloudy silver rather than this shiny one which I don't really mind because I'll probably do something with them anyways but uh, I just thought that was interesting that it rubbed off see it looked like this a little bit cloudy so I was rubbing it off thought it could be buffed out and well I buffed it right off <laughs> So, well, anyways, for a dollar, you know, what are you going to get? Then I got the gold set as well. And then they also have these in white. Hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference on the screen. And then I just realized mine was chipped. So that's disappointing. I didn't realize that when I bought it. Unless it happened on the travels home. But those are really nice. Love those. And then I found some books. Now, you're probably going to think some of these are crazy. And after I purchased them, I was thinking the same thing. But I bought the Dressmaker's War novel by Mary Chamberlain because I think they just turned this into a movie. So, for a dollar, that's a good deal when it's regularly $27. Then I also found The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers book. And I picked that up just because I love that movie. And I actually have the books that were written about the story. And I thought this was neat to go along with that. Also, I thought if I ever did a junk journal or theme journal well I could cut this apart and put it in there because for a dollar it doesn't make that much of a difference to me so here's the two crazy books that I bought this is <laughs> called crazy stuff and it's very thick and it has some wacky stuff in it oh I don't know what that is like look this is the doggy porthole in a fence. <laughs> I don't know. Wacky, wacky, wacky. Oh, here, Dogga is dog yoga. <laughs> I don't know. It's really weird. Oh, why do I keep turning to all the dogs things? Oh my goodness. So, I don't know. I got this for kind of inspiration. Helping your mind grow. Interesting. And then to just check it out, really. Oh, puppy love. Um, if anything, these can be torn out using collage. 
pieces. They could be used in journals if you want to put in something a little bit funny. Oh, the robot suitcase. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, very strange. You know, like this piece here. You could actually use that as a collage piece. Okay, so then the next one I got, which is so, so heavy. It's called Germania, I believe. And this was a book about, you know, rising above the post-war. And I really got this one for inspiration. I just thought some of the images were interesting. Again, they could be torn apart and used in collaging as well as just, you know, inspiration. So just very interesting. He looks like from the Adams family. Uncle Fester, is that his name? Anyways, yeah, it was just kind of interesting. Um, and again, for a dollar, you couldn't lose. And if you didn't want to, if you wanted to, you know, take these pages out and make it an album, it has a fabulous cover to this. Love it. You know, and you could make your own scrapbook out of it because these are probably 12 by 12 pages. A little bit less. Yeah, but still, that would make a nice journal right there. So that's everything that I got this time around. So if you stay tuned, I have some pictures and some clips to share with you. And in them, you might find some new hands. And those are my mother's who was visiting and is actually moving here now. So I turned her on to Dollar Tree. She helped me out take some of the photos and stuff. So you'll probably see her hands in there. So this Dollar Tree haul was a total of $12. Um, thank you everyone for watching and please stay tuned for the rest. <laughs> Say something to it. Beautiful. <laughs> You're such a beautiful bird. Ha <laughs> ha